Welcome again guys, we have already covered three parts in this series of studying in Australia versus Germany. We have covered studying, we have covered cost of living and we have also covered student jobs. This fourth part is going to be about the living environment in Australia versus Germany. Let me start with Arpit again. How is the weather in Australia? I mean in Germany, in Hamburg, I see rain all of the time and most of you know that I complain about it a lot because I just don't like this weather. How is it in Australia? Is it also too rainy or too cold okay so like australia as you all know is quite big it's a continent mm -hmm. so the weather it varies from state to state mm -hmm. so i only know about melbourne so i'll just talk about melbourne the weather in melbourne is world famous because it completely changes in just seconds it can be like uh, sunny in the morning it would be rainy in the afternoon in the evening it will be cold and in the night it's again going to be uh, <laughs> like it's going to be warm let's just say for now we have officially summers here mm -hmm. but right now the temperature is around uh, i think 18 19 degrees and tomorrow it's going to be maybe 35 degrees maximum mm -hmm. and the day after tomorrow it will be maybe 18 degrees max so the weather here is fluctuating all mm -hmm. the time so you can't really go out of the, your house without having an umbrella that's Otherwise, the exact same just... advice that i would give to anybody who is thinking about coming to germany too you can have some nice sunny day or like sunny weather in the morning but it can change anytime just like what arpit is telling about melbourne it's the same story in hamburg too so i mean we really don't have a real summer here we have winter but in winter there is no snow let me talk about temperatures real quick here so in summer you can expect the maximum temperature to be somewhere around 32 degrees or 30 degrees but that's it in winters it can go down to minus three minus four but that's very rare generally it's somewhere around three to four degrees okay in summer if it's a very hot day the maximum that it's gonna reach is what i have seen is up to 38 degrees and in the winters it can go as low as uh, zero degrees one degrees i don't think i have seen uh, the degree in, in negative i haven't seen a minus one minus two because there are no snowfall here in, in melbourne unlike mm -hmm. where you live so yeah that sucks that we don't get to see the snowfall all in all year around the temperature is pleasant it's around the mean temperature is around 25 degrees how is the nature of the people in my experience they are very kind very generous very polite very friendly so you go and approach to any of them and if you are seeking for help regarding anything they will be more than happy to help you yeah i can only say the same about germany but they always keep some distance they will be really friendly they will be really helpful but don't expect to just be best buddies with them right away you know i really personally feel that indians are way more forgiving and they are way more kind and open you just talk to somebody and the next thing you're doing is i don't know you're going to canteen together and eating food or i don't know you're going to the campus shop together and eating some sandwich or something like that but yeah don't don't expect the same in germany for sure and arpit what kind of events or festivals happen in australia or in melbourne that you know in melbourne obviously the main main two festivals are christmas and new year also we have halloween here on 31st of october other than that there are some public holidays that includes maybe the queen's birthday there is labor day there is boxing day throughout the semester there are uh, regular events in the university there are quite variant so it really depends and there are there is a bar in the university campus so there are parties there every thursday night and also there are events going on like there is something going on in the university almost every day of the semester it's quite happening over there mm -hmm. also in the city and melbourne is like multicultural it's it's the cultural city of australia in my university you can become the member of the student union mm -hmm. in which what you do is uh, you just get a, a cheap membership of maybe 20 dollars for mm -hmm. a semester and in that membership you get to get free lunch on every wednesday free breakfast every day and maybe free drinks also in germany again like the holidays are the same like in australia both are christian countries right i mean uh, in australia people celebrate christmas in germany too then you have easter then you have halloween new year things like that so most of the events are same or the festivals are same in germany and in australia also for hamburg i mean a lot of things are happening every day so you can be completely carefree about it that if you're looking for some kind of concert some kind of music 
musical or something that you want to attend, you can find it in Hamburg, I don't know, every week for sure. Now, Arpit, let's discuss the elephant in the room and which is racism. What is your experience with racism in Australia? Did you experience something? Did your friends experience something? What is the whole scenario? So, I'll tell you my experience. When I used to be in India, people used to tell me all the time when they would ask me, my friends would ask me, okay, where are you planning to study? I would say, I'm planning to study in Australia. And the first thing that they were going to say to me is that uh, the Australians are racists. Mm -hmm. It's a country full of racism, so you shouldn't go there, right? Mm. But no, I would say that's a complete no. Mm -hmm. My experience have been quite the opposite. Since the day I arrived here, it's been almost one and a half years since I've been here in Melbourne. And I haven't faced even a single incident in which I felt racism. I haven't even met any guy or girl who would be racist to me. They are quite friendly or every one of them. Mm -hmm. They are quite friendly. And it's just like, I would say it's just a misconception among maybe especially Indians mm -hmm. because I'm Indian. So... I know only about India. Yeah. They have misconception that Australia is a racist country, but I would say don't fall into that misconception. Don't worry about racism. There is no racism here in Australia. But yeah, Arpit, so. did you also go out in weird timings? I mean, you go to clubbing and uh, partying and all that. So like if you're coming yeah. at two o'clock or something or in the clubs mm -hmm. or some other places, like nothing happened. Nothing. Actually, some of the clubs I go at, maybe 2 a.m. in the night. Uh -huh. I come back maybe in 5 or 6 in the morning. <laughs> so, okay. so no, I, I haven't found anything. Maybe I'm lucky. I don't know. I haven't uh, experienced any case of racism. Native Germans, they are very friendly. They are very nice. They are way away from these kind of incidents. The people who would do some kind of discrimination or something, they wouldn't be Germans. They would be like foreigners themselves, white foreigners who are living in Germany and they just hate the other foreigners who are coming here but it didn't happen really often for sure i mean i don't know maybe one or two incidents that i know of yeah so this is just something that you shouldn't be worried about i mean anyways most of the people who have this kind of mentality you know they wouldn't be going that far in their life if you want to grow if you want to be bigger then you have to learn how to just work with different kind of people different kind of culture and different kind of nationalities otherwise you can just i don't know keep cleaning your garden or i don't know just you know so that's what i have to say about it don't worry about it don't care about it you're going to do way better than what the others are doing who did these kind of incidents yeah that's my advice and this was the living environment in germany versus australia thanks for watching the video guys share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video which is going to be about our stories why Arpit chose Australia why I chose Germany and just general discussions so that was it guys bye bye we'll see you in the next video